How you doing, Dessert Junkies? I hope you have been well. Well, this time of year, Christmas, November-ish, it is summer here in Australia. It's quite warm and having a thick, hot, bulky dessert is just not the way. So I'm going to show you how I've made an Italian recipe but put a nice summery twist on it using limoncello. It is a great Italian liqueur. Essentially, it's lemon liquefied. This is my limoncello to All right, guys, so first thing is we need some orange juice. So I've got three oranges here. I've rolled them really hard on the bench first, and then I'm going to cut them in half and get as much juice as I can out of them. So I've just got a juicer here, just squeeze them. I like the manual version, you know, it makes me feel like I've got big, strong muscles. So get as much juice as you can out of these and then we're going to pop them straight into the dish that we're going to make the tiramisu in because I don't have time to clean more bowls. So into the orange juice we're going to add three tablespoons of limoncello, so 75 mils. And this is an Italian liqueur made essentially of lemons and sugar and water. It is amazing. Gonna give it a bit of a swizz just to make sure it's really well combined. And then I'm just gonna start putting in my sponge fingers. Now I want my sponge fingers to sort of flop around a little bit and soak up as much of that orange juice because that's gonna be the bottom. We need them to soak as much as we can. So don't be afraid to let them sort of fall over and have a bit of a bath and tip upside down and do little loop the loops as much as you want. Because yeah, we want all that juice to be gone and soaked up by the fingers. Just before I pop the last fingers in, what I like to do is just get a spoon and try and get as much of that liquid out and all over these fingers. So yeah, they definitely absorb everything. So just don't be afraid to get a bit of a spoon and get as much of that liquid on the top so these fingers are definitely all nice and moist and nobody has any dry bits. No one likes dry bits. Once you've got all your fingers in, it's now time to pop them to the side. Now we're gonna work on the cream filling. So to this cream filling, I've got mascarpone cheese, which is a nicer sort of like cream cheese, but it's just on a whole other level. And then I'm gonna add some icing sugar, two big heat teaspoons to get a little bit of sweetness into this as much as I can. And make sure of course that you do sift this because nobody wants big lumps of sugar, nobody. Then I'm gonna add a good drop of vanilla and the zest of one lemon. Now this lemon is a gigantic lemon, so I've cut a little bit of the end of it because I needed one to be, you know, more of a normal size of a lemon. And then I'm also going to juice that lemon as well and add this to our mascarpone topping. So this is really emphasizing that citrus, sweet, summery flavor. I'm gonna pour that lemon juice, make sure no pips into our mascarpone cream. And then I'm going to go in with a spatula and just give it a real good mix up. Of course, get your elbow grease into this. It is quite a stiff cheese, so adding the lemon juice will help break it up and make it all nice and smooth and glossy. Also using that will get air into this and you want it to be airy and fluffy and really well combined before you're adding it onto our fingers. So once you think you're there, it's now time for a bit of assembly. So I'm gonna put the mascarpone cream on top of the fingers, trying to make it as even as possible. So just put, you know, your lumps and then even out with that spatula until it's all nice and flat. And I'm gonna pop this in the fridge just to set for a good half an hour because you've worked this cheese and the cheese will set itself back, but you just want it to be really, really quite solid. So if you've put a little bit more lemon juice, it will harden back up. Once it's been in the fridge for a bit, then it's just time to decorate just before serving. So I've got some blueberries, some strawberries, you could use raspberries, and I'm just going with the scattered artistic approach here, getting as many as I can really on there so it's nice and even. Then I'm gonna grate some dark chocolate. This is just basic dark chocolate, nothing fancy, but it just adds that bit of tiramisu action that we're really looking forward. And then another dusting of icing sugar. You know, this is like our summer snow Christmas. This is as close as we get. So we're gonna go in with that. And then all you need to do is take a piece out and enjoy it. It is amazing. You will love this. 
There you have it guys, how simple and easy is this to put together? Now of course if you don't have limoncello or you don't do alcohol, you can certainly just put more lemon juice in it to give that real lemon pop. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, of course, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and favoriting it. And of course, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I want to make it a big surprise to see where we end up. So I need your help by subscribing. Hit that little button below or the link below if you're watching on a mobile device. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.